guys welcome back to another tutorial today I've been seeing that in my video for how to make a server I have seen like people have trouble port forwarding because it's one of like the mo the hardest thing to do in that video because I didn't I really didn't go over it so in this video I'm gonna go over how to port forward for Minecraft and this basically works to for any game that you might have I have AT&T Uverse so it might be a little bit different for your if you have Comcast or any other internet provider here at the US. But basically for AT&T Uverse, what you do is you go to this address here. Um, 192.168.1.254. And then what you when that loads, if you have the Uverse, um, you're going to go to Customize Firewall. This usually takes a while to load. But basically, if you have, um, so here, yeah, here you choose the computer you're on right now because it needs to, so mine's the, um, this one. Yeah. All right. So as you see, I already have Minecraft here, but basically how to do this is you click add new user. Um, you put, um, I'm just going to name it Minecraft. Um, two because I already have a Minecraft. You're gonna leave it in TCP because that's how Minecraft is, and it's two five five six five to two 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 five five six five. So you basically TCP two five five six five, and then you click um, add to list, and then you're gonna need the password that you basically can find that on your actual. On your actual router because it's gonna be on the side and it should be like a very weird and long number it's gonna say device access code and then it's gonna tell you a number so mine's um, and it should for at and I don't know has the and that's under the 7 so you're gonna to have to do shift 7 and then you submit, and then it's going to say congratulations, um, configuration successful, and then you go back. And then you're going to click again on your computer. These are just all the things that are connected to my Wi-Fi right now. So after you do that, you're going to click here allow individual application if you put maximum protection then it will not allow you so you put allow individual and then you're gonna search for the thing you created which is called minecraft 2 i put it as minecraft 2 you can put it as minecraft <clears throat> minecraft 2 and then you're gonna click add Alright, basically it's just telling me that I already have one, so basically Minecraft is already the same thing as Minecraft 2, so I don't have to add it. So, by doing this, and then you click save. Alright, it's going to save it. And then what you want to do is you want to go back to your server folder. You're going to go to your... Um, where is it? Your configuration server the properties, and you're gonna put in here where it says server IP. You're gonna go here. You're gonna go to IP chicken, and then this would be your IP. So I grab this, copy, you paste it here. Oh, it doesn't let me. Wow. Um, sure, let's do this. So it's 172.3.13.164. And then you're going to do what you want to do here. Is you want to add your extension. So you do colon 25565. 
actually you don't really need that because minecraft already knows it's 2556 but when you give it to your friends you need to give them the whole thing so here is just the ip and then you save that and then you should be able to just run your server as normal if you don't know how to make a server make sure you go watch my how to make a server it's the easiest way to make it online literally it's just like three downloads and that's it you're done so just follow these steps to port forward and yeah i'll see you in another video thank you for watching subscribe like comment if you have any questions thank you